Hello, welcome back, Guan. So, yeah, that you can see first, I got a new microphone. I'm not sure how the sound is. I hope it's gonna be all right, but we are not gonna talk about that. We are going to talk about the game, of course, and I got some uh, comments uh, from the last devlog, and uh, I'm not gonna exactly read them all. I can uh, put in uh, the screen here, uh, but uh, there's something I did follow up with. It's an uh, example. Uh, there's some really good one, but I haven't had some time to fix that. But example about the compass from Matt G, if I pronounce right. But he said like we should maybe blurry or something uh, on the compass. I didn't really blur it, but I did make a background and I did make it a little bit transparent. So I feel like you can see here it looks like. I hope that's are a little bit better. Uh, but then something else is, uh, I got a comment uh, with the MPC, like maybe make it a little bit more random or something uh, with the notes and like that. So that's something I gonna of course work with. So thanks for the suggestion and feedback. It's helped a lot. Yeah, so about I have been adding bow for the game. It was a very long time I did add it, but I have not really finished it and it was time to fix that. So that you can see here now the arrow direction is working. We can exactly point where we're gonna shoot and the arrow get destroyed and we have some small finish effect. So now we got a new weapon for the game. So that's awesome. And of course we need to fix some skills for that very later, but that's we are not gonna look on right now. Yeah, so I felt like we're gonna talk what kind of software I'm using while I building Blixia. And here can you see, I guess mostly, here know what Unity is, but if you don't know that, Unity is the game engine I'm building it. Uh, you can make the levels, you can programming it, you can yeah create a world game inside it. Of course, you cannot you cannot create models inside it or anything like that. But this is this is the software I'm building Blixia in, and I'm gonna show some uh, example other software I'm using while I building Blixia. Yeah, so here can you see this is Blender. This is a, another software I'm using while I building the game. And this is only focused for texturing and making the 3D models. And uh, that you can see here example, it's uh, only focus and the best way it's free. I can put everything on description if someone uh, don't know about this software or want to use it. So I'm gonna put it in description. I can put everything in the description. But yeah, so here you can make the 3D models and texturing, so that's really awesome. Here's a new software and this call Corel Vector. And uh, this is everything for UI. Uh, you can think about for icon from making inventory. Yeah, everything about UI. Everything, it's really easy to work with. And uh, of course it's free that I'm gonna put on description, like I said before, about the other software. And here's Notion. This software is very powerful if you want to write down things, patch notes, your roadmap, maybe make tasks so you can uh, write down what you're gonna do next, what you have complete. Uh, there's a very powerful, you can do a lot of things with this Notion. You can see here, I make a home page uh, I got for my YouTube and for Blixia example, uh, we can see my Blixia board uh, that we can see what I planned in progress, writing down bugs and everything. So this software are awesome uh, for game developers or other developers too. So yeah, Notion is very powerful and free. And I forgot a software called Audacity. This is for audio. And uh, this is really, really awesome. Uh, you can make some sound effects. Uh, you can uh, tweak it. You can do a lot of things. Uh, they have even updated it, so it's even more powerful now. You can download plugins. Uh, so this is awesome for audio. Uh, mostly I think about its sound effects uh, when you're using this. Maybe you record something with the microphone and tweaking it in this software, so that's really awesome. 
Okay, while we're sitting and talking and doing that, I can share here is the new you I am working on. Uh, I have uh, replaced and adding XMP sword staff bow and great sword button for yeah, switching the skill book depends on weapon. So this is something new I've been working with and I'm gonna replace it and change uh, trying to get more contrast. Uh, there was a comment like a couple of weeks or months about that. Uh, I need to maybe try to focus on more contrast for the UI. And that's something I have tried to reading and I'm not really good on colors and contrast for UI, but I try to make the best, so I'm gonna change that. But yeah, I hope you like this kind of video too and enjoy it. And next time, I'm really sure it's gonna be a new devlog. Have a have a good day, thanks.